Hello everybody and welcome to Pixelcraft and uh, today I just want to talk about the fact that I haven't posted any videos or this channel has posted any videos in the last about decade and I really want to apologize for that but to um to save you some effort the latest update in TF2 has added quite a hefty load of promos and crates and salvaged crate and a new, brand new salvage crate which I'm going to have a picture of all the stuff available in that new crate and uh, I'm just going to list some of those things now the strange bacon grease. Now, obviously, this is something that's different. Obviously, it's a new item entirely. And the strange bacon grease, uh, I'm going to save you the effort. This this episode's mainly designed to save you the effort of researching all this stuff. So the new um, the new update contains the strange bacon grease. And this uh, bacon grease enables you to turn your frying pan into a strange frying pan. So that's a really nice little update that I've added there. Nice little tweak to the game. Uh, there's also a destruction uh, construction, sorry, PDA, and I assume that how this will be working is how many buildings you build slash destroy, it'll probably count them as one. The original, which is a nice add, because I personally, I believe that the default rocket, uh, default rocket launcher is probably the best option uh, when you're playing soldier, as you can see I'm using the default rocket launcher, so an original is actually quite nice, it's got a really nice view model and it actually looks quite nice aiming down the sights, having it in the center. Um, the invisibility watch, I can, one can only assume that it'll be entire times drained, otherwise people will just be spamming it on and off. The splendid screen, pretty self-explanatory, much like the charge and targe, it's been a long time coming to have, uh, to be in one of these crates. Now, crate number 56, up on the screen there, uh, the fire axe, so these are all strange, so a strange fire axe, the strange flying guillotine, which is a very nice, um, addition, I know a lot of people have wanted that. The strange beggar's bazooka, that's also very nice. Medics killed, tanks destroyed, long distance kills, I don't think people are too fussed about these new strange parts, and some hats that have been already added. Some other new strangers in the crate 57 are the Fists of Steel, the Neon Annihilator, and the Girati is an old one, but the Fists of Steel and the Neon Annihilator, two nice little strange, uh, items that have been needing some strangers, to be perfectly honest, they're, uh, pretty, uh, yeah. So, uh, now... Uh, the reason that I'm so excited to bring you a video, uh, I'm not going to go through everything in the topic, just some of the things that have struck me in talking about how I think they're going to affect the pricing of the TF2 market. And uh, this is a new item called the App Sap, and uh, it's, if you've played Portal 2, you'll know it instantly. It's the Wheatley character from Portal 2, who is, uh, you could say he's the main bad character, I guess. Uh, there's some pictures up now, probably just a couple or a couple cycling through, one of them's of the Wheatley itself, uh, the Sapper, and how the Spy can hold it. And uh, it is a replacement f Sapper for the Spy, it replaces the default Sapper with a flattened Wheatley core, uh, it has voice lines that are activated upon circumstances such as deploying a Sapper, your character's death, and some others. Uh, it, w it functions exactly the same as the Sapper, meaning there is a, um, it's a, uh, what's it called, it's just a retexture of it. and. Uh, Funnily enough, you can still get this, and here is where the market sort of side comes into it. You get it from opening the Watts in the Portal 2 soundtrack box, and if you're confused about what that is, it is a, um, it's sort of hard to explain, but it's a, um, it's a box that you get as a code that you enter on a website, so you get this code that you enter on a website, which enables you to get the Watts in the Portal 2 soundtrack box, which, when you open it, it gives you one of these, and you get a genuine quality one. Now, what the issue is, is when this is coming into the marketing uh, of TF2 prices, you can actually go and buy one of these boxes or albums, because that's where you get it. It comes as a little code when you buy an album called Portal 2 Songs to Test Buy. And uh, when you buy this, it'll give you a little code, and when you input that code, it'll give you a um, one of these. And the problem is the album itself on Amazon you can get it for $13 $13 that's if you buy the keys off the Team Fortress 2 store that's around five keys the problem is people are going and selling them for saying oh yeah I'm gonna sell this for a bud minimum and people are going crazy giving them unusual offers of worthing uh, valued at two buds you know unusual valuing at two buds unusual valuing at a valuing and just two buds pure and it's a bit mental actually how how long people think they're going to get away with this because also you can still buy the box so if you're interested I'll put a link in the description I'm definitely going to buy one because uh, I may not have mentioned this yet but Steve Merchant is probably one of my favorite comedians to be honest and um yeah it's quite interesting 
so yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Also, just about the uh, raffle that went on. I guess it's not really a raffle. Uh, it's more of a giveaway because you don't even have. Uh, so just if you haven't already checked that out, it's for the Tux, which is a promotional item that came out for the Linux. Just uh, go to our channel. It should be a couple of videos. It'll probably be the second video down. Uh, go check that out, enter it if you want a chance to make some free uh, cash, because remember, actually at the current moment there are 41,000 tuxes and 55,000 buds, and a bud is worth 27 keys, so if you want to snag yourself up one of these Wheatley things without the um, issue of spending any money whatsoever, go over to that raffle, enter it, and uh, see if you can maybe luck out and win one of these Wheatleys, so uh, thank you very much for joining me everybody, uh, it's been a wonderful time, thanks, bye.